Now once at the machine, all we're going to be doing is folding this over like this. Go ahead and crease it. A pair of scissors closed can help do that a little bit. Flip it over and take this opportunity to shore up your edges a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in about an eighth of an inch from the edge and I'm going to zip that to about midway. The way I'm going to know I've reached my mark is with a light line here. Now I'm going to come to the folded edge and again I'm only going to come up about halfway. Again, the way I'm going to know what halfway is, is by marking it here. Almost forgot to turn it inside out or actually right side in. We sewed it inside out. So we'll go ahead and we'll stick our sole in. Remember this is the left foot. So that's the outside. And remember we put the left side of our foot on this folded over edge, not the stitched one. So it goes in this way. You can put your hand underneath it to help it. Now we're going to try it on. These tabby things are a little bit long for my tastes. And then the other. And the same on this side. I think that should work just fine. Now, as you wear these around, they'll mold to your foot a little bit better. You can also stuff the end with cotton and maybe even a piece of mild steel wire, something like bailing wire, so that you can shape it if you want to curl it up, for instance, or have it lay flat like that. There's the end result, the most basic shoe you can make and wear. Have a good one.